create another HTTP request name user properties. This will be get request with the URL https colon slash slash grab.microsoft.com slash v1.0 slash user slash user ID where you will replace user ID with the ID received earlier. In the header section include authorization with barrier followed by your token. If you are unsure how to create a new token, I explained this process in video titled how to create a post API for access token. You can find the link in the video description below. This request will return the default user properties. However, users have many other properties available, which you can explore in this article. To retry the additional property in API call, append them in select parameter. For instance, include property like display name, age group, city, country, and create a date time. When you execute the API with this parameter, it will return the specific metadata. In the next example, we shall demonstrate how to update user's property. Let's begin by creating a new HTTP request name update user. The page URL for this operation is https colon slash slash graph.microsoft.com slash v1.0 slash user slash id. Before proceeding, Let's obtain the ID of user using the get user ID request. Once we have user ID, we will replace ID in the URL with the actual ID of the user we want to update. In the header section, update content type to application JSON and include authorization with barrier followed by your token. Navigate to body section and choose row. Here, we will update the city and country property with New York and USA respectively. Upon executing, you will notice the status code is 204 indicating success. To verify the update, retry the metadata of same user. This time you observe the city property reflect the value we have updated. Similarly, you can use this method to update other properties such as resetting password, modifying user roles, or updating any other metadata associated with the user. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Feel free to leave any question or feedback in the comment below.